So, Doctor, we, you know, you mentioned at the outset that, of course, we know that COVID tends to affect the lungs. Uh, can you elaborate a little bit about that? What's what's the impact that COVID has on? Lungs? Yes. So, basically, as I said, these are the basic symptoms which people can suffer from. But obviously, if these symptoms are ignored or if the treatment is not taken on time, the infection can spread on to your lungs as well because mainly it's a respiratory illness. And the moment it spreads on to your lungs, it's going to affect your capacity to breathe. So basically, people can start experiencing difficulty in breathing because the, the virus is going to affect the small cells of your lung tissue in which the air enters, which are normally called as alveoli. So as these air sacs or these air bags, they get on getting damaged, the overall lung tissue gets affected and that is what becomes the cause of you feeling breathless. So basically, it's going to affect the total amount of air entry into your lungs and eventually affect the amount of oxygen in your overall system, which can actually have a very long lasting effect, you know, basically, because even after taking the correct treatment for the infection and also getting your lungs treated, but the damage which can affect your lungs, that can stay for a long time. And people can eventually suffer from long lasting chronic lung disorders. And that was actually my, my next question, really, which is that, you know, can you talk a little bit more about the long lasting impacts? Because people tend to think that after they've, you know, they've come COVID negative, then they're okay. And they can, you know, resume their normal activity uh, the way they used to. But uh, of course, we're going by what you're telling us, and we're seeing more and more, you know, cases and episodes, unfortunately, of people who, you know, get back to normal levels of exertion, but really, you know, they haven't fully recovered. Correct. So basically, as I said, it can affect the lungs, but a lot of these new studies and new data which is coming out after studying all the people who have got affected and also studying them for a long term, it has been seen that the COVID-19 does not really stay only as a respiratory disorder or as a lung disorder. It has actually affected all the other organs as well. So many people have suffered from problems related to the heart, where have suffered a sudden heart attack, Okay, even after a month after testing negative. And that is a correlation that they would develop that it has occurred mainly as a consequence to the COVID infection, which was mainly a delayed effect. So after studying such cases, they found that the COVID infection has actually led to some type of an infection on the heart wall, which is also a muscle. Or it leads to basically a scarring on the heart tissue and the lung tissue, which can happen and which can really lead to a symptom in a delayed way. So people don't realize that they have become absolutely fine or negative, but they are still not capable of getting back absolutely to that normal level of, of activity that they would think they would should do. And without getting some proper guidance, they would jump to just doing a very vigorous thing. And that's where the, the event can happen in a very sad way. Plus, it can affect your brain. So there are cases where people have suffered a stroke. People have suffered convulsions or seizures, what we call it at fit. Okay, and also some people have developed uh, mental disorders like depression and anxiety. Severe muscle pain has been a very common effect, you know, especially after a month or two months. So there was recently a study which was done on Chennai-based doctors who returned to work after a month after testing negative, And they were constantly complaining of chronic pain in the whole body. And that is what can happen, you know. So even after testing negative, no matter how healthy you might have become, but it can have a delayed effect, okay? And mental health, as we discussed, it can get affected because there's a lot of mental stress around the overall situation which people suffer from. And that's where people need to be careful in terms of how they get back to their normal life, you know? How soon they can really start putting their body under that same stress that they were doing prior to getting infected. And that's where, you know, the rehab plays a very important part and this is something which is applicable not only for people who are really having severe symptoms, but also for young people who don't have any major symptoms or don't have any comorbid problems. Because normally we would think of all these problems only for elderly people, but that's not the case. There have been incidents where even young people have suffered uh, serious heart-related issues. You know? So people need to be careful once they are they have infected and even after turning negative, they need some guidance. They need some supervision to really get back to their normal physically active life. Right. That's very helpful. And, you know, we have some great questions coming.